Hi, my name is Stefan Stein. I'm a uh, business rescue practitioner. I'm a registered accountant with the uh, South African Institute of Professional Accountants. I'm also a member of TMASA with uh, 10 years experience in the turnaround industry. Um, I have been involved in many, many turnarounds in the, the last couple of years and uh, have found that uh, I have uh, some skills that I'd like to offer the small and medium sized companies of, of this country where I feel that um, a lot of economic value can be derived from, from saving companies that shouldn't be, be liquidated or gone going insolvent in any respect. If you're a member of the public and you are wondering how to assess yourself regarding uh, business rescue, if this is the route that you'd want, want to take, ourselves at uh, Business Rescue Partner at www.businessrescuepartner.ca.za is willing to help you can log in and do a self-assessment. This normally gives an indication to ourselves at Business Rescue Partner which is the best route to take for yourself with regards to costs, to minimize costs and also to maximize the possibility of being successful. We at Business Rescue Partner would advise you regarding the business model and also your situation regarding creditors and uh, institutions, uh, SARS and the banks and so forth. We feel that um, this is a, a process that is fairly easy to follow and once you've completed the process, your business rescue partner would be able to contact you. This is the definition in the Companies Act regarding a description of uh, financially distressed. In reference to a particular company at any particular time, it appears to be reasonably unlikely that the company will be able to pay all of its debts as they become due and payable within the immediately ensuing six months or it appears to be reasonably likely that the company will become insolvent within the immediately ensuing six months. Hi, I'm Tim Stokes. I'm an attorney of the High Court. I practice at Stokes Attorneys. I'm the legal manager at Business Rescue Partner. There are two ways to commence business rescue proceedings in terms of Chapter 6 of the New Companies Act. The first way is by way of Section 129. This is when the company itself will take a resolution to commence business rescue proceedings and this resolution is filed with the CIPC, formerly known as CIPRO. And the second option is in terms of section 131. This is where an affected person, such as an employee, shareholder or creditor, applies to court to force the company to go into business rescue proceedings. At this point in time, the best procedure to follow is section 129 because section 131, where an affected party applies to court, does not necessarily work so well at this stage. From what we have gathered from the case law, the affected party applying to court has to really know what he's talking about. The affected party must come with a proper, sincere plan to court so that the judge can award the order that is sought. In terms of section 147, within 10 business days after being appointed, the business rescue practitioner must convene, preside over a first meeting of creditors. At this meeting, the practitioner must inform the creditors whether the practitioner believes that there is a reasonable prospect of rescuing the company and he may receive proof of claims by the creditors. At this meeting, it is very important that some sort of plan is already in place. This will go a long way to easing the creditors and, and proving to them that there is a reasonable prospect of success. Once you are in the website and uh, you'll see there are four steps to the website. Each step is blocked and, uh, unless the business rescue practitioner gives you access to it. The first is the initial assessment. This is a self-assessment scenario whereby certain information is required from you to put in and once that is done and submitted it completes this process. Step two, this is the initial gathering of information whereby certain information is gathered so that the business rescue practitioner can enable him to make an evaluation of your situation of being financially distressed and also make recommendations as to which is the best way to proceed. Step three, this step involves the business plan and after this you would be in a situation whereby you could present to creditors your situation regarding a recovery plan. 
the business rescue partner would have already had contact with yourself and would have already been at your premises and would have already consulted with you on numerous occasions. At this stage, this is fairly far in the process whereby a certain amount of confidence should be given as to the success of the business rescue plan. Step four, this is the process whereby after the business rescue plan has been initiated and accepted by all the creditors, all the creditors need to be updated with regards to the progress. Not only do you have responsibility to creditors and institutions, but also to your own employees. This is the, the process whereby communication is given out to all the necessary parties that form part of the whole business rescue process.